family planning, like you've just said, it is very, very critical. We need to change mindset. Another thing uh, which you did mention is sometimes a lady or a woman doesn't want to have so many kids, but she, you know, has to have three or four. What are your thoughts on the two child norm? Uh, do you think, how would that be for women in the country? Do you think, do you see it happening? Uh, should it happen? You know, India doesn't need a two-child norm. And let me explain to you why we don't need a two-child norm. And then I'll explain why it's not going to be good for women. Fertility is declining very fast in India in much of the states. So 20 states already have replacement level fertility, which means that, uh, you know, the numbers will remain constant. Um, We will not have an increase in numbers if we reach replacement level. Second, I want to say that in India, women and families don't wish to have more than two children. So women and families don't wish to have more than two, don't wish to have more than two children. What is the problem? The problem is lack of access to family planning services and women don't have the authority, autonomy or agency to decide. So we need to empower women. We need to give them access to temporary methods or any method that suits her at different periods of time because women's bodily uh, needs keep changing. Mm -hmm. And uh, given their hormonal uh, changes uh, uh, at different stages, which is adolescence, menopause, in the middle of um, uh, having... uh, Babies, the, the, the hormonal imbalance or should we say hormonal changes in, uh, determine which family planning method will, use the, uh, will be most useful. You know, most countries have many more family planning methods than India. So if we provide temporary methods, women will not have to depend only on sterilization and have endless yes, children yeah. in the meantime or abortions. Second, women do we, we, women don't have autonomy and authority, as I have repeated three times. But it is important, so it keeps coming up in my um, uh, narrative and conversation. So what it will do is, even those women who wish to have two children or one child, because they have, are forced to have a third child, especially if they haven't had a son or because nobody cares about family planning um, uh, or their health. So is it not fair to women when they are the ones who don't have agency and they don't have access? So a two-child norm will not work. And also in, uh, in much of southern part of India, where women are have access to family services, better access and fewer children, why shouldn't we give the same access in UP, Bihar, Rajasthan, Assam, and all these states all where the fertility stuff. rates are high? If women were in school, also, they would have fewer children. You know, there is data in India to show that if a girl is that has studied class 12 and above, or only class 12, she's likely to have not more than two children. So why yeah. don't we, you know, the, the best concept is education, education. Yeah. and education will also take them forward in their careers, in their economic growth and the country. Mm-hmm. You know, we keep saying there's this demographic dividend, this demographic dividend will become a disaster unless we invest in the literacy skills, etc. of our young people. So it's a win-win situation. Absolutely. And other states did not have a two-child norm and coercive mm-hmm. practices. In India, 20 states didn't have that. So yeah. why should we have anti-women policies? You know, women uh, under the two-child norm will not be able to stand for elections. Women will not get promotions. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of two-child norm yeah. Uh, yeah. coercion yeah. that and incentives and disincentives we are talking about in this country, which is not necessary. Mm-hmm. When there is a productive, constructive path which is not harmful for women. And finally, Ambika, I want to say that when you enforce a a two-child norm like they did in China, one child and two child, they had huge imbalance. They had fewer girls because girls were aborted or feticide, infanticide. And in India, even without having a two-child norm, we have such poor sex ratios. Yes. We have fewer girls, especially in Haryana. Yeah. You know, the girls 
are being bought for marriage from a sam we don't yeah. want this situation even further yeah and in fact maximum unfortunately maximum girls i mean childhood we talk about that as well so it's a very 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 difficult situation